the Honorable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, it's an honor for Catherine and myself to be here today and to speak in this house. Yesterday, a shooter came here and tried to silence us. He tried to silence the values that our country represents, peace, tolerance, and diversity. Mr. Speaker, he failed. Monsieur le Président, Mr. yesterday's Speaker. cowardly act was meant to shake this great city of Ottawa and indeed the entire country, but it has only hardened our resolve. It, it only strengthened our commitment to each other and to a peaceful world. Now, let us not become more suspicious of our neighbors. Let's not be driven by fear, because in Canada, love always triumphs over hate. To the family of Corporal Nathan Cirillo, please know that the thoughts and prayers of every single member of this House and of every single Canadian are with you today. Cirillo was a young man, just 24, with a beautiful son and a bright future ahead of him. Friends said he always had a smile on his face. Well, that smile will be remembered by a nation. I also need to salute my down, friend, the Sergeant at Arms, Kevin Vickers. And I ask him, on behalf of all of us, to thank all of the members of his team on the Hill, the police forces and the Canadian Armed Forces. We don't know the names of all the heroes from yesterday, but we all saw heroic gestures here in this place yesterday. including a member of Mr. Vickers' team who was projected against the door with the shooter on the other side telling us to get down while he was still standing up. The courage and the professionalism that they showed faced with this brutality shows what is the best about Canadians. Thank you to our Canadian forces this week. You have had to face two incredible tragedies. Every day you defend Canadian values, and today all Canadians are with you. Mr. Speaker, yesterday we woke up in a country of love, of diversity, of peace, and that has not changed today. In this place, throughout Ottawa and throughout Canada, we will go about our business as normally as possible, and as the Prime Minister said very well, the fact that we are here today this morning is proof of that. We will hold those who are close to us a little bit closer today, but this violence will not change our identity. Mr. Speaker, you know, as I do, that there are events that are a picture of Canada's openness. 
parliamentary area in and of itself becomes a symbol of the freedom and openness of this great country of ours, Canada, is that every Wednesday at noon, if you come out during good weather, you'll see hundreds of people, multicolored, doing yoga on the front lawn. <laughs> it is a symbol of openness and freedom. And if the person who came here yesterday with violence in his mind and in his gestures didn't win, we can't allow that openness and freedom to be rolled back either. We have to continue to defend both. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, today I stand here on behalf of all New Democrats and all Canadians. We say that there is great solidarity here in this House, but across the country. There's solidarity with the Prime Minister. These acts were driven by hatred, but also designed to drive us to hate others. That's not going to happen. stand up and we'll stand together. We'll preserve, we'll persevere, we'll prevail. Because, Mr. Speaker, that's what Canadians have always done together. That's what we do best, together. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. Ensemble. Speaker. Together, we continue. <laughs>